How could you betray your own father?
Gentlemen, before we begin, I'd like to take this moment to thank all of you for your courage in joining me here today. What we are about to attempt would surely be impossible without the combined power of each and every one of you. If we are to be victorious, we must fight as one, as a single sword. Uh, I feel like multiple swords would be more effective, sir. No, 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 you misunderstand. I'm not speaking literally. It's a metaphor for unity. Does it have to be a sword? Can we be like a single warhammer? Okay, look, the specific weapon doesn't matter. It's... My strength stat's not high enough for hammers. Could we be a dagger instead? Christ, it's like hurting cats with you people. Oh, is Fluffles here? Thankfully, no. Between rounds of torture, gladiatorial combat, Pictionary, oddly enough, I was eventually able to negotiate a... something. You could be talking about anybody. Buckle up, people are going in hot. You ready to do this, Tiff? Let's crush this thing, just like those chimeras on floor 17. Ah, uh, that takes me back. And I can finally break in this axe we worked so hard for. <laughs> Man, that quest was brutal. Hey, I've done it without you, buddy. That's weird. Why don't I remember any of that stuff? Because we have lives outside of you, Kirito. <laughs> Now, man, to battle! Where is he? Maybe it's hiding or something? Wait, what if this is like one of those metamorphosis things the commander was talking about? Like, the real boss. 
is the demons within ourselves. Oh, like my crippling abandonment issues with my father. I don't know. Is your dad a giant fucking centipede made of rib cages and hatred? No. Why? Oh, so that's probably not him then. Sweet shade of Eradicus. What the hell is that? Dramatic. Why not? Did you find a way out? Oh no, we're definitely gonna die here. But we've all gotta die sometime, right? At least we get to do it playing an awesome game. Awesome? You're kidding, right? Huh? Come on, sir. Do you really think any of us would still be playing if we didn't have a gun to our heads? You gotta admit, this game is kind of a hot mess. Hot mess? Really? That seems a bit harsh. Well, how else would you describe a game where players can just kidnap NPCs, the crafting system is seizure-inducing, and half the time our teleport crystals, one of our only lifelines, do nothing? Yeah, nothing if you're lucky. Yeesh. How you doing, buddy? You feeling okay? You hungry? Okay, I'm gonna get you some soup. You're gonna feel better. Okay, so the game has a few minor bugs, but this is groundbreaking technology we're talking about here. Real life virtual reality! Where's your sense of wonder? Hey, I'm with you, old man. I love this game, despite its uh, shortcomings. Here's your soup, buddy. Oh, no! <laughs> Well, let's be real here. Even if it weren't trying to kill us, this game is a freaking Gordian knot of terrible design. Face it, the main reason we all bought it is because it was the only launch title when, surprise, Tron suddenly became real. Oh, so now you've seen Tron! school to break you and rebuild you from the bottom up. I came to break you. This school and its students is in breach of every conceivable rule, including the rules of decency. This is going to change. Any questions regarding my authority will be severely punished. I am here to correct your outlandish behavior. Any questions regarding my methods will also be severely punished. This school is diseased, and I'm the medicine. Any questions? Very good. Looking forward to working with you.
friend from work. was a man named Gold Roger, who was king of the pirates. He had fame, power, and wealth beyond your wildest dreams. Before they hung him from the gallows, these were the final words he said. 
My fortune is yours for the taking, but you'll have to find it first. I left everything I own in one piece. Ever since, pirates from all over the world set sail for the Grand Line, searching for one piece, the treasure that would make their dreams come true. Yo!
surges in your body. Well, what should we do today? Let's try on a thousand shoes. Wait a minute. surges in your body.
shut in me. But starting tomorrow, you have to worship me in a greater something. Uh, huh? First, when we get back into town, you're going to join the Axis sect and pray to me three times a day. Second, at mealtime, if I ask for something off your plate, you have to give it to me. And third... decided to sit still while it was eating you. Can be so 
STINGY BASTARDS! Getting something kind of oh, fine. Thank you for having me. I am at the giant soccer cup. Wow. You know, I feel so much more relaxed. Done for the day. But you still haven't done no grocery shopping. Shush, shush. Uh, excuse me. I won, and it's all your fault. Stop being so cash about it. Yeah, about that. I kind of put off fixing the generator and just plugged it into. Some house for now. Where did this come from? Let's spill it for you. All right. Do your chores. Wait, no, 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 no. Bye bye. Curses! Man, this guy's lives are just a little too relaxed, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm gonna try to crash it with a manual glide. She might not hold this time. Then go to the escape pod. The path is blocked. Never land for yourself. Uh, they stay on fire. You cannot have these people. Not today. <laughs> Like, could you imagine?
excerpt from the December 4th, 1888 edition of the London Press. It has been reported that 73 of the 452 residents in the town of Wind Knight's Lot have gone missing overnight. The police have been pursuing lines of inquiry based on certain witness accounts. These accounts state that four outsiders were seen burning a man's clothing at the base of a nearby cliff. One of the four was reportedly wielding a large hammer and using it to smash a curious stone mask. Our work here is done. Fortune, Jonathan Joestar weds Arena, only daughter of the Pendletons. The couple will travel to the Americas. Nice. Ugh, blazes! Look what time it is! So late. So then, where are they? They're both on board the ship. Ah! It's about ready to sail. What? It is? Where are they? I've got to see them! Now then, Father Sticks. We expect to hear great things from your mission to Mexico. I'll certainly do what I can. Ow! Ruddy hooligans! Mr. Speedwagon! Hmm? If you ever need me, just call. I'll be there. Well, at the moment, I'd just be in the way, eh?